What is an action potential in the nervous system? Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching. And in this video, we're gonna understand about action potentials, neurons, and how a message is taken from one end of a neuron down to the other end of a neuron. Now, before I go any further, just wanna let you know that you can download mock questions that will go alongside this video so that you can test your knowledge on the content that you learn. If you're inside our blog, all you've gotta do is scroll down after watching the video and you will see the mock questions there. If not, then you can click the link that is with this video and it will take you straight to that blog. So let's first of all find out the definition of what an action potential is. Now the definition is that it's a wave of electrical activity that pulses along any electrically excitable cells. Now that could include muscles, or neurons. We're going to talk about it in relation to neurons today. And electrically excitable just means that there's there's electrical current, electrical signal going through it. That's what we're talking about. So now that we know kind of what we're talking about with action potential, it's this journeying, it's this travel from one to the other. Let's give it some context and understand about it in relation to the role of the whole nervous system and the neurons that we have. So first of all, if I mention the word neuron, that is the same as a nerve cell. They are the same thing. So it's really important to be aware that they are the same thing, two different names. So first of all, the idea of a neuron is that it will send information from one part of the body down to the other part. And a nice analogy for this is a train. So if you were, let's just say you're up in Scotland, you're as far north as you can go in the UK and you want to get down as far south as you can, but you're going to take the train, then you have a moment whereby you have to walk onto the platform. You walk onto the platform, you catch the train, you take that train, let's just say, to one destination, then you've got to walk across the platform to take it to another destination, and you have these little lines that join up, all these different train journeys join up. Now, I want you to think that the train journey itself is the electrical signal that's going through the neuron. But as you get off one train and you have to walk across the platform to get to the next train, I want you to see that as a chemical message. So this is basically what we're going to call neurotransmitters that jump the gap between our two trains, between our two nerves, to help us be able to have all these different combinations of actions and all the different combinations of information we can send from one part of our body to the other. Now, obviously, this throughout the nervous system there are that millions millions of different neural connections and we can choose so many different things that we need to do and respond to and sense so it's really important that we have this flexibility of being able to have different combinations and that's why it's really great not just having one train that goes from scotland all the way down to cornwall <laughs> but in this case it's lots of different trains that joins up as a result of you walking over the platform and that's your neurotransmitters so now you know that context, let's sort of understand how this works. So within each neuron, the pulse has to move from one end to the other. So that's like your train line, right? It starts off with the dendrites, which are these kind of spiky parts of the image that you might see of a neuron. And from the dendrites, it then goes into the nucleus, which is like the brain of the, the nerve. And then it goes down into the axon, which is the long fin bit. And then it gets to the terminal. Now, the terminal, which makes sense, doesn't it? This is your platform where now you're going to send out your neurotransmitters to, to basically walk the gap between the two uh, electrical signals, which are your neurons. Now, these neurotransmitters are chemical messengers and they include things like dopamine and serotonin, amongst many others. But you may well have heard of those as the way that we transfer information in between our nerves. Now these bind to the to either another neuron to allow us to get on the next train and move down or to the muscle membrane to get an action potential which causes the muscle contraction. So you're looking at it either going to the nerve or to a muscle to allow us to move and create muscle contraction. So now you know that whole journey, let's look at what happens in between that gap. Remember I said it goes dendrites nucleus, axon, and then terminal. And that's the point where the neurotransmitters go. How does it move from the nucleus through the axon, which is that long thin bit? How does it move along that axon to get to the terminal? This is your action potential. And this is exactly what happens. So it's a really complex and in-depth journey of, of depolarizing ions. So I'm not going to like bombard you with lots of really complicated information because at level three anatomy and physiology you don't need to know it in huge amounts of detail and if you look at this online you've probably found lots of really complicated things <laughs> relating to ions 
polarizing and depolarizing. But I want you to see them as basically like a light switch. It's either on or it's off. So it's positive or it's negative. And these light switches are basically, imagine them all lined up along the one long axon. You've got all these different little light switches lined up. Now, when one changes or polarizes or depolarizes from positive to negative, it makes the next one change and then the next one change and the next one change. It makes it change the whole way down the line, which is how the movement happens the whole way down the axon. Now, that's very simplified, but I want you to understand that it happens as a result of polarizing and depolarizing ions that change the signal the whole way down. And that's basically moving the whole way down your axon. And that's what you need to know as being an action potential. And this basically allows that signal to go from the dendrites and the nucleus all the way through the axon, gets to the terminal, and that's when it basically says go. And it's basically an on or off go, isn't it? Release neurotransmitters now. It's been excited, it's been the action potential's gone all the way through, and it, and it signals to move on to the next neuron or onto the next muscle. So that's what an action potential is. What I'd love to hear from you is what your big takeaway is about this action potentials and what they are. So all you gotta do is drop a comment below this video. It'd be lovely to hear your feedback and what your big takeaway is from today's video. Also, if you're looking for more help with your level three anatomy and physiology, and you want more different tips like this, more stories to help you remember the content, then make sure you check out the link that goes to our Revision Mastery Boot camp because it will really help you be able to condense and understand the information. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.